So when this whole full self-driving beta thing first started, the first thing I did was send a message to my group family chat and text everyone and say, hey, guess what? I've got this really, really cool download in my car. I really want to go test it out and I really want you guys to check this out with me. One of my family members was my older sister who I am currently in California visiting and she is a tech person just like me. She's about to get in the car in a sec. I'm here picking her up and we're going to go for a drive and she's going to offer her experience and her thoughts. First time experiencing full self-driving beta, but without further ado, let me get uh, Courtney in the car. Hi. Hi. So this is Courtney. Um, Hi. This is my older sister. We have the same birthday. She is super experienced in the luxury and the tech world, and she works very closely with the automotive industry. So she has probably a very unique perspective. I think you're gonna like it, first of all. But second of all, I think you're gonna have a very unique perspective being experienced in luxury, but also knowing a lot of tech and a lot of software. You've been in my car before. Yeah. Everything's probably gonna look pretty similar until we start driving and uh, be as candid and open as you want about what we're seeing. Are you sure? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. So here we go. Uh, we have the mall punched in here on the nav, and we're going to go just for like a nine-minute drive. And uh, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> let's do it. We'll let him go first. All right, here we go. Okay, the car is now fully in control. I am here just in case I need to take over, but the car is making all of the decisions right now. I got up to speed pretty fast. It did, yeah. It's not shy. No. That's nice. Because that would get really annoying if it was just like constantly yeah. a few miles under the speed limit. So, interesting you say that <laughs> because mom hated that. Oh, <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> she said that it was too aggressive. That's funny. Um, and that was the worst use. She said it was too aggressive. And I said it, it seems very confident. Yeah, I like that. It's confident. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, also, it seems that the speed limit changed between back there and here. So this is Google Maps, actually, that the system is built in on. And you can see the Google icon barely down there. Um, so Google actually has speed limits set on their map system. Um, okay. But it also uses the cameras, like right there's a, a 45 speed limit up there on uh -huh. the right. Yeah. So then once my camera picks it up, then it changes. Here. Oh yeah, that was like actually really fast. So then it changes our speed again up here. So this blue circle is how fast we're going to be going, um, but it's using the map system to decide how fast to go uh -huh. based on the roads. Interesting, cool. Yeah, this is awesome. And look at how it shows the all the other vehicles on the road right here. Yeah, totally. It always kind of used to show that info. It's really expanded since the beta. It was super accurate though. Like watching the road versus the, the screen here. Oh yeah, there's the speed limit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it slowed down for that guy who was getting into the left-hand turn lane. I'm speeding back up. Yeah, I actually really like how aggressive it is. When Fred and I went for our drive a few days ago, he was saying that he really likes how fast it does the turns because traditionally in autopilot, sometimes it's really slow to speed up and people behind you get annoyed. And then with this, you don't want to Well, then you don't problem. want to use it because you feel like you're annoying right. every other driver on the road. Totally. So this is cool. Oh, and we get to see a left-hand turn and you're not, It's so funny. I like forget that you're not driving, actually. I look <laughs> really? over and your hands are not like... <laughs> that's, a, that's a compliment to... To the to car. Tesla? Yeah. <laughs> if you'd forget that I wasn't in control. I am technically in control of the car. I, it's my responsibility what's going on here, but no, I am but letting I know, it make all the decisions. But you're, yeah, no, that steering wheel is moving on its own. You're not doing that. I'm, right. I'm watching you. Right. My fingers are here, but. I'm no. watching you. I'm making sure you're not trying to fake anybody out. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate the quality assurance. Okay, so that was interesting. You, um, it lane changed immediately to get in the turn lane back there. Yeah. It like almost wanted to avoid the, the lines that mark oh. the turn lane. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh no. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Perfect, you got it back. Yeah. Left hand turn, here it goes. <laughs> that was really smooth. That was. That was good. That was great. Yeah. Oh, we're about to get on the freeway. Yes. Cool. And actually this little chunk is kind of challenging because you have to get over really fast. Okay. Um, and it's a really, it's a short chunk of freeway and it's um, generally moving pretty quick. Okay. So I'll be interested to see how it handles it. I, 
survival too. I'm surprised that it hasn't changed lanes yet. yet. Yeah. I am too, actually. I usually change lanes by now myself. Maybe it has a, a setting where it only will start changing lanes once it's half a mile before. Well, okay, so you know what's interesting is you can see that there are like a bunch of cars in this far lane. Mm -hmm. Normally I would be in that lane or maybe the next one over. But here we are, like if you know you want to get ahead of these cars, you would obviously be in one of these lanes. Right. So I'm interested to see if it's actually like thinking that through. I. Yeah, I don't know. That. Help this guy. Seems like a little bit. If not being too a little ambitious, but. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm letting it make all the decisions. If it was me, yeah, I would have lane changed already. At least to the middle lane. So, so watch what happens on the screen when it decides to make a lane change. It'll oh, show yeah. cars yeah. that are obstacles as blue. Okay, so that was, a, that was a good lane change. It's also now tailgating a little bit. And then now it's lane changing again. This is fine. That was actually really good. It's going to have to get over again, though. Right. Which, I mean, with me, like, I when I drive, I generally want to, like, kind of anticipate it. However, yeah. if I had done that, I'd also be behind a lot of these cars. So... Right. I mean, what does that mean? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's it it is artificial intelligence. One of the things I tell people is that um, human reaction time is, on average, uh, actually, I'm gonna stop talking and let you watch it get onto the on ramp. Yeah. So this is, yeah. Okay. So we get on here, and then generally you gotta get right over. Right. Let's see how it handles it. The traffic's not really bad right now, actually. So. That's the beep when it thinks that my eyes aren't on the wheel, or aren't on the road. Okay, it's lane changing, I canceled. Okay, it's got a lane change soon. Yeah. Okay. It's gotta get over. Thank you. Is it gonna make it? Ah! Cool. It did it. It did it. Again, not the way I would have handled that myself. Right, you would have done it soon. I would have gotten way over really fast and been in the right lane way ahead of time. There's a chance that was actually my fault because I didn't punch that button. That wow. button is what activates it on freeways. That actually might have totally been my fault. Dang it. I know, I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> oh. 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 Are we going this way? Yeah, see, yeah, no, this is the right way. And again, oh. I, for me, I, I would have... Gotten over a lot sooner. Yeah, like that would have been a little bit more gentle. I wouldn't have kind of swerved in the lane at the last second. Sure. But it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> A little spontaneity, a little unexpected. Like, is it gonna make it? Oh, right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Makes the driving experience fun. You know what? I appreciate your positive candor. <laughs> okay, now it's really getting upset at me. I was looking to make sure we're clear. And it might change right away. I need to make a follow-up video about how often it gets upset if you're not paying attention. Okay, so it thinks it just wants us to go ahead. Oh, so it just took us to like the most general yeah, spot so here. Yeah, so we're here. We so it's saying it. it's ending it here, so we're done. So I'm going to turn it off. It's kind of a strange over. place to end you, though. Like yeah. right here in the middle of like a three-way stop. I would have thought it would have taken us all the way to the pin, but <clears throat> maybe not. Um, okay, so that was your first full experience. What do you think? That was awesome. That was super fun. You, you can be honest. No, but it, but it really was. Okay, cool. What was your favorite part? I liked it. Uh, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me. The, maybe the flaws. Maybe, like, maybe. The, really? How come? Well, I mean, I, you know what? I'm not the one sitting in the driver's seat, and I guess I trust you. Okay. I don't really necessarily fully trust the car, but I trust the human that's like got his hands hovering over the wheel. Sure. So, like, the unexpected element is entertaining. Okay, that makes um, sense. As far as like a real reaction to the actual self-driving of the car it's definitely cool okay i mean what's the real purpose of self-driving so you can set your hands down on your lap at least totally right and like maybe have it be okay to glance at your phone sometimes and like at some so, point yes right so are we there yet i don't yeah. think we're there yet right. i think that it's fantastic i think that <laughs> like you said there were a couple of decisions it made that i disagree with mm -hmm. that we were fortunate didn't really affect us because it's not really 
a concern without well, a lot and of traffic. Well, it didn't change the travel time or anything like that. It right. didn't make any mistakes that would have like cost me time getting to a destination. It didn't like yep. do anything that I felt like put my life in danger or anything even close to that. It just yeah. thought differently about the scenarios sure. than I would as a driver. And given a different situation where there was more traffic, it might not have been able to get over as easily. Sure. So, and again, not being in the driver's seat myself, like maybe I couldn't assess exactly. Although, you, I mean, you can see in the monitor all the cars that are around, so I feel like you can actually make a pretty good judgment based on that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Definitely. Um, I mean, what they're doing with the full self driving beta is they're going to be having updates come out roughly every week, every two weeks. Cool. And every update will have a massive set of changes. Uh -huh. So that it's getting smarter and smarter. So the next update's supposed to come out next Friday. So uh, maybe at some point I'll make another trip down here and and uh, we'll, I'll show you the updated version. Yes, please. Cool. <laughs> um, if you haven't already checked out my video, um, my first video drive with my mom, if you want to see another family member of mine coming with me, I'm going to post a link to it up here in the corner. Um, and please do me a favor and like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, that's okay. If you did like it, that'd be cool. Um, and leave a comment below because we are starting a discussion about the first real wide release of autonomous software in the world and clearly it is still in beta and that's why I'm doing all this testing and showing videos to show you guys what's going on in the very early development stages so that someday when I'm a grandpa I can tell my kids oh, I was one of the first ones out there testing this stuff so drop a comment I'd love to discuss this with you guys down below and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>